Easter's a bit of a funny time, isn't it? I mean, it's made a huge impact upon our culture, so that whether you're religious or not, it shapes our calendar. We wear crosses round our necks. We eat Easter eggs, symbols of new life. But at the same time at Easter, we celebrate the death of one of history's greatest religious teachers. We don't go around wearing electric chairs or needles on necklaces. We go around wearing crosses. Easter is strange, and it might be that some of us don't exactly understand why it's worth celebrating. So that's what this little series of videos is about. We're going to look at the different characters of the Easter story, and hopefully by looking at them we'll get different perspectives on both the story and the message of Easter. We're going to start quite deliberately by looking at Jesus today, the main hero of our story, in this first video. Now, I want you to think of one of your favourite stories with like a charismatic hero in it. When something goes wrong for them, it's normally a surprise, isn't it? They might think their way out of it. They might overcome the odds and win and fight. But at least initially, when things go wrong in the story, it's a surprise. I'm going to be looking at Matthew's gospel over these videos. And in chapter 26, the very beginning of the story of the Easter week, we get these words from Jesus. He said to his disciples, as you know, the Passover is two days away and the Son of Man will be handed over to be crucified. The hero of this story isn't caught unawares, is he? The Son of Man, a title that Jesus uses for himself... He is going to be handed over. It's not random. Jesus knows he's going to die. Jesus knows he's going to be betrayed. Jesus knows he's going to be set up. If you were to read through Matthew's gospel, and maybe this Easter week, that'd be a great thing to do. You'll notice that Jesus has already predicted his own death three times. He seems to be going towards the opposition, not away from it. He's not running. Why would Jesus do that? Here's the strange logic of Easter at the heart of Jesus' actions. By going towards his death, Jesus shows that his death accomplishes something, is doing something which his life could never do on its own. Jesus says, Earlier on in Matthew's Gospel, his death pays a ransom, a payment, a price for someone who's stuck as a hostage. That's what Jesus says his own death is achieving. Easter isn't about a good example. It's not about a confusing tragedy. No, at its heart... Easter is about the deliberate act of Jesus going to die in order to save people who are hostages. Jesus' death, perhaps more than most deaths in history, is not accidental. No, he goes deliberately. For who? For us. For anyone who would come to him. Jesus goes to the cross for us. That's all we're going to look at today. If that idea seems at all intriguing to you, well, please tune in to the videos for the rest of this week that we shared around. And we'll look a bit more at the message of Easter, of why Jesus had to die, and what that could mean for us this year.